That's dumb. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? The pride of America. <laughs> North Dakota. You didn't know that, but. <laughs> Where the one tree lives. <laughs> Where the one tree lives. It's, like, okay. <laughs> it's for real. <laughs> What's going on everybody? I'm Eric. And I'm Chris. And we are Whiskey in a Hammock. And today we are doing something near and dear to my heart. It's Proof Artist and Distilleries out of my home state, North Dakota. Right. And this is one you know that we just opened, right? Our second mail call. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to review all the cool kick-ass bottles that uh, Joel Kath Right. Us, so right? Joel Kath, owner of Proof Artist and Distilleries. Um, came through for us and sent us these three bottles yeah, which big time. is above and beyond Mr. Joel, Mr. Cat. I appreciate it. <laughs> I wouldn't expect anything else from a fellow in North Dakota. And you ask for one thing, he sends you three because that's just who we are. Awesome. It's awesome. Will you, uh, can I go on a little bit of a rant? Yeah, positive sure. Positive rant. Positive, positive rant? As long as it's positive. It's positive rant. Okay, yeah, all right, go for it. So me being from North Dakota, I get crap all the time about how we're just a flyover state and where's North Dakota. When I was in basic training, a kid told me that his uncle grows peaches there, which if, <laughs> if you have any idea or any <laughs> knowledge at all, you would know that peaches don't grow in North Dakota. So basically, um, like I said, North Dakota is a state that if you're not from there, you don't know about. And we have a lot to offer in North Dakota. We are the home of uh, Teddy Roosevelt National Park and Teddy Roosevelt. Um, we have sports icons that come from North Dakota that I don't think anybody would know. Like Phil Jackson, uh, who's the coach of the Bulls. Um, nice. Uh, Roger Maris, baseball player. Carson Wentz, Ronda Rousey, Darren Erstead. No, somewhat, <laughs> I, you know, I'll leave that. My name's Erstead also. Um, <laughs> we have... <clears throat> Mr. Transformer himself, Josh Dumel. I know that guy. He's a handsome fella. I've seen him. And I he think he's will, in a movie or two. He will be tagged in this video. I promise okay. you. Yep. All right. He's going to become a, uh, a proof artist and distillery fan as well as a whiskey and hammock fan. Uh, why not? I will, I will make him. Like, I will... <laughs> He'll get annoyed with me to the point. Yeah, I'm, I'll, he'll be annoyed with me at the point where he'll be like, God dang it. All right, okay, fine. All right, yeah, fine. I'll hit the like and subscribe button. There you go. Um, this one's kind of near and dear to my heart. Uh, my old man was part of this. If you, if you've never heard of the Happy Hooligans, they are. How do I say it? If you don't know of them just say thank you because they're the guys that make they're the guys that make the bump in the night for the bad guys oh okay so the happy hooligans thank you for everything thank you for your service we love you and uh my old man was a happy hooligan so excellent wow it's, it's, uh, it's a little deep in my heart so Heck yeah we awesome. north dakotans are a wholehearted down-to-earth boots in the mud kind of people who are willing to help everybody, and I'm proud as hell to call myself a North Dakotan, and I'm proud as hell to drink North Dakota bourbon. All right, that so sounds great. That's my rant. Appreciate y'all for listening. Okay, we're not a flyover state. We're full of badass people, and we represent well. So, all right, let's get into it. Apparently, it's the first bourbon. There's the first whiskey oh, since Prohibition in North right. Dakota. The first, you know. Uh, you know, uh, legal distillery? The, yeah, the first legal distillery since Prohibition. All right, well, you, you keep talking, so which one are we going to do? And I'll oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So All right, so what do you want to start with? I think you should try uh, Crooked Furrow first. All right, let's being do it. Being as though it's a bourbon. All and right. that's all we've done so far is bourbon. This will be yes. our first... Single malt? Single malt. So it's close to a scotch. Well, it's closest in, to a scotch in America that you're going to get. American-made scotch, right. right? You're right. Yeah. And it, yeah, the single malt. The single malt of North Dakota. The like emphasize the yeah. <laughs> single malt of North Dakota. I'm really okay. excited about it. So you, yeah, yes, let's, let's try one. Glen Fargo first. All right, and you keep on keeping on. Yeah, I'm gonna keep on keeping on. So, uh, Glen, I'm sorry, Crooked Furrow is a of uh, age four years. It's 92 proof. Put you at about 46 APV. 
Um, Crooked Furrow is actually the big brother of Harvest Blend. All right, let me pour you some. Uh, they have, Crooked Furrow has awards, uh, 2019 gold best bourbon in the 50 best competition in New York, New York. Okay. And the 2019 best whiskey per state by the USA Today. Can I ask you a trivia question? You sure can. I really hope you don't know this. Because <laughs> I, I honestly had to look it up and I'm from North Dakota. Do you know what a furrow is? I do. Damn it! <laughs> There goes my there goes my trivia question of the day. <laughs> so tell me what a furrow is, Chris. Furrows are like when they plow and then, you know, when the dirt turns over, they, they creates a furrow. And oh, like the groove. Yes, the groove. So, of course, like you know, I found an interesting story. Yep. That uh, <laughs> the reason that they call it what crooked furrow is that his grandfather said that things grow better in a crooked furrow. But, you know, the, the son said that's because <laughs> granddad couldn't plow straight, so. <laughs> and to speak to that, uh, my grandfather worked on a farm, which I got to work on it, you know, a summer or two, and we got to do things. And um, we drove, I got to drive a Steiger, which is a neon green machine with six tires. It's that it's sounds in the middle. awesome. Yeah, it's super fun. And my grandpa's only instructions were... <laughs> drive straight? Drive straight. <laughs> It's freaking impossible. <laughs> so I agree with granddad saying things grow better when it's crooked because it's freaking impossible to drive straight with a plow behind you. Oh, so yeah. true to crooked furrow form, let's give her a go. Well, we got nose it first. Oh, nose it first. Yeah, yeah you're right. Well, yeah. I'm, see, I'm, you know, mm. first time for me, so. It smells very sweet. Mm. No, it does. Right? I'm sorry. The nose, the nose. is sweet. I don't know. I don't smell like apple off the nose you do yeah apple I sweet. smell like a uh, it reminds me of like a like cider -ish. A bitter sweet corn like not sweet corn, corn cream corn mm. all right cheers cheers whiskeyandhammock.com you can get these glasses by the way just throwing out there Mm. It's easy on the tongue. It's buttery almost. Like, um, you know how uh, we said, what was the rye that we did last week? Oh, you're talking about the rye from, uh, from Copper Sky. Copper Sky. You know how I said that it's buttery and it almost like melts into your tongue? Yeah, like buttery toffee and apples. Like, so yeah. we, the, uh, the popcorn. popcorn. Yeah, it's like caramel and apples. Yeah, it's very, very good. Neat. And it just, it like melts into your tongue. It's very tasty. Yeah, what is the, what's the proof? Well, so 92 like, proof. 92 proof. <clears throat> I mean, I, I honestly don't even add ice. I know we mm -hmm. do and I will. Right. But. So just right, right out of the bottle. Neat. Neat. Um, like I said, 92 very proof. You, you can feel the heat, but it's not, it's not it's too not, much. I don't feel any heat. Oh, I, I, I got no, I got zero heat from this. Nope, I got a little bit like, of heat. One out of ten heat, I give it like a two, maybe. Well, I mean, that's almost 50%. Yeah, it's so, very good. It's very buttery. So, Joel and his brother Jay and their neighbors sit around a campfire, and they decide that they, like we do often, that's almost how Whiskey and Hammocks was born. That, yeah, somewhere. same idea, yep. yeah. Kind of sat around the campfire and discussed, you know, what are we going to do? What, right. do we, what do we want to do? And they decided that they enjoy bourbon and whiskeys and gins and vodkas and things like that which you Spirits. know who doesn't right so they decided to make proof artisan distilleries and um they came up with two docks vodka right because what because the neighbor that they the neighbors are two docks two down, down which perfect. is freaking incredible i love it um and then they started making bourbons and whiskeys and things like that it's awesome so yeah. it, it was just a concept around a campfire Yep. Which, if you're from North Dakota or Minnesota, you know that you go to the cabin and that's what you do. You drink True. and you, you know, dream about things that you want to do. And these guys made a freaking come come true. So in about five years, a little over five years well, after yeah. licensing so, and right. So, but you know, they're relatively new, right? Two thousand fifteen. Yeah, 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 they're yeah. That's yeah. when they opened. Mm -hmm. I think thirteen is. I read thirteen. Maybe it's fifteen. Between thirteen and fifteen. Well, you know the owner, the CEO. And you, didn't, you didn't ask him. No, I I read it. I, yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Chris. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, like many great ideas, this got inspired around a campfire. 
Right. Yeah, we came, you know, came through. And it's fantastic. All, All right, right, let's try it before it melts. It's All still, right. we're still in Florida, people, so it's chilly here, but it's not. Well, yes, what? It's not North Dakota chilly. <laughs> no. No one's got sweeter. I definitely smell an apple-y thing now that you say it. Mm. With It's more sweeter than, you know. Hmm. I think I prefer this one without ice. It got a little... I think I do too. I'd rather have it without ice. It's not you that know, it's bad. It's no. just this... Oddly this enough, this is two weeks in a row when we put ice in it and it's made it hotter. Mm. To me, this is... I put an ice in it and it's made it hotter, which is... Weird. Well, you know, like said, you know, <laughs> to me, I think like and the ice kind of like you know tamped down some of the flavors, which is not usual. No, I, it's you know like, it didn't make it hotter for me, but at least I think I you know, and you know I usually enjoy a, a cube. Mm -hmm. Just like you know a little, a little melt opens it up usually. It's still very good. Oh yeah, nope. It's I like still it. Very good. I didn't. I definitely like it. Well, let's finish. We got two others to get through, buddy. Well, so now we're no full melt? <laughs> well, yeah, we're, we'll let it full melt a little bit. So what else can you tell me about uh, about proof? Proof. Well, the other cool thing... Out of Fargo, North Dakota, by the way. Right. I don't think we've mentioned that yet. Well, I think it's awesome, the building that they're in, right? Yeah, super cool. Right? So it's a 1920, or, you know, building that, you know, they took over from the municipal court. Mm -hmm. So they built their distillery inside, and the bar that they have in there for their tasting room came from a pub. From it looks super old. Well, it is. It came from, it was, you know, the uh, the Down Under Pub, 1892. So, in the uh, pub is going to be demolished. In the tasting room, yeah, yep. Well, you know, so, yeah, so this pub is going to be demolished. So they had. Where did the pub come from? The, the pub in you know. Uh, oh, I put I, you. I put him on the spot. Yep. Sorry. Nope. I think uh, I know it's in North Dakota. Yeah. But um, it wasn't Fargo. It was another city that wasn't. Not too far. Okay, I'm gonna name up. We're gonna go Ted on the bit. You know okay. the movie Ted when he names the girl <laughs> go for that. It. Go for it. Okay. Right. Um, Grand Forks. Grand Forks. That's oh, it. boom! Right off the right bat. Off the bat. <laughs> Got it. Nailed it. That was. I'm. Yes. I'm. I'm telling y'all. So Grand Forks had this pub, uh, down under pub, started in 1892, right? Yep. So the bar was gonna be demolished. This pub was gonna be demolished. Is it because it flooded? Up and. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I, venture. I didn't, I, to, I didn't find that. I'm out. gonna venture to bet that it's because at one point this bar flooded. Well, it was I'm gonna just be throw, I'm just. It's. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just guessing. <laughs> and they call it. They call these people minions. They're minions because they went in and saved Hence the bar. The gin. It, that, that's exactly why it's called gotcha. Minions Gin. So they're they're a bunch of their friends. They're minions. Went in and pulled the bar out before it was demolished. 24 hours before. <laughs> and that now resides in their. Yo, in the tasting room. In the tasting room and their distillery. So Fantastic. Yeah, awesome. I All love right. the stories of craft distilleries, dude. There's so many stories like this when it comes to craft distilleries about... Well, it makes it better. Like repurposing said, and, you know, like... Yes. The, well, said saving the 120-year-old bar. Yeah. That's now, yeah, that now in, it, you know, with proof tasting room. Yeah, that makes it that much better. Yes, it does. I don't think we're going to get a full melt today, buddy. No. All right. What, yep. What's the temperature here? 55. Just to rub it in the faces in North Dakota. Maybe 60. 55, I think it's like 55. I was going to wear pants today. Just saying. It's 55, <laughs> 60. I was going to wear pants today. 60? But I didn't. Try and true. 65. <laughs> Try and true. Okay, in the shade, it is definitely feels like it's 55, 50-ish. It's a little chilly. I'm not going to lie. There's a little nip. Um, There's a little nip. I just went on a North Dakota rant about how, and now I'm how complaining about how cold it is here. I know. <laughs> Sorry, North Dakota. I failed you. All right. You're... Mm, 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 mm. What? One out of ten. One out of ten? How about we do all of them first and then we give them numbers? Because then I'm going to forget. You're not going to forget. Okay, what's next? All right. What? I think we should go Glen Fargo next because I've had Glen Fargo and you never have. And this well, one will be last because we've never. I've never had this one and you've never had this one. Or what do you think? Well, I was thinking like you stick with bourbon and bourbon, then do bourbon. the single malt All right. last. Cool. So. <laughs> Sorry to throw, whatever, a little, you know, I threw a little crookedness in there. Sorry. I don't care. As long as we're drinking this beautiful brown water, I'm into it. All right. If I so, can open it. What else? Like so said, what are we doing next? Well, you know. Harvest blend. Harvest blend, which is 
blended bourbon, right? Blended bourbon. It is 80 proof, 40 ABV. Right? I and love, I just gotta say, guys, I love the fact that. Sorry, excuse me. I love the fact that it says produced, distilled, bottled, barreled, and bottled by Proof Art Distilleries in Fargo, North Dakota. By the way, hail the bison. You guys kick ass. Bison yeah. Nation. If you don't know, don't ask. <laughs> I heard of it. I, I heard you. of it. But I, I don't know. You. Tried and true. Love my bison. And I say it right. I just want to say it. B I Z. E N bison bison even though it's B I S O N for you southerners don't don't even don't even come at me like that bro don't even say the word bison well I'm I'm from Buffalo I, you know we say bison bison yeah right okay yeah so bison well we had the Buffalo Bisons baseball team I don't you know what I got it okay all right stop what what it's not the, the Buffalo same? Bisons it irritates me that bisons is a word <laughs> bisons <laughs> it's the Buffalo Bisons still. Like they're the baseball, they're the minor league baseball team out of Buffalo, New York. Right. The Buffalo Bison. They're not the Bisons. They're not. No. Are you sure? A, bi a Bison is one. And it's nine? like, <clears throat> it's like what's like goose and geese or beer. Like okay, so <laughs> that's a horrible no, that's example. a horrible example. So what about okay? How many? How many? Mouse, beer and mouse beers. And mouse, more than one mouse. What mini much moosin in the woodsin? You know what I mean? Like Bison. <laughs> what? Wait, wait. Like look at it. all the Bison no. out there. Yes. In the. No, I agree. In the Badlands. I Look agree. at all the bison. No. So we're going to cut everything out and we're going to start from right there. <laughs> Chris, your argument on bisons is terrible. Because it's not bisons. You as a teacher is awful. <laughs> yeah, me, I'm dead. So look, it's not bisons, it's bison. Look at all the bison. I'm going to drink there. whiskey. <laughs> Shut up. So Harvest Blend by Ooh. Crooked Furrow. So this, this is this guy's big brother. Little brother, big brother. Honestly, I couldn't find a, I couldn't find a mash bill for any of them. Oh no? No. Why don't you just ask the man himself? He's a busy guy. Oh, all right. No, hey, I get that. He's running the distillery. I would say he's busy. All right. Forty percent gray neutral spirits. So a blended bourbon whiskey. I think that's right. what it is. Okay. So blended bourbon whiskey. So it's a blend of bourbons. A blend of bourbon. Ooh, this one. Let's cheers first, because I'm going to get into this. But, so this one you haven't had. I haven't had this. Mmm. What's the proof on this one? I've never, I've never nosed anything like this. 80 proof. 80, 40. Wow. This smells like buttered popcorn. <laughs> Don't you think? Or no? Mm. Did I just put that in your brain movies now? Mm. It's it feels lighter. It's lighter. I wonder. It's not as um, I don't feel like, you know. There's more flavor in the uh, crooked furrow. I mean, it's not that much off as far as proof flies. You said it was eighty. Crooked furrow is better, but only because this one's different. Does that make sense? Yes. Like I said, you know this. Cricket for your like you know, harvest blend, right? Yeah, harvest I think blend, that's yeah. you know an um, easier. It's the easier drinker. I think yeah, I think that's for all around. So anybody that picks up something that's like you know not into whiskey, so I think, want something lighter. I think you if think? you're going to mix, if you're going to use something to mix, mm -hmm. like you like make old fashions or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is good neat, but it's not nearly as good as that right. neat. Time to add some more ice. Time to add some ice. This is, I think this is the the one that you mix things with. It's good, still good. That's better. A plus A. A plus A? A plus A. A, okay. A, A, All right, A, so. Yeah. <clears throat> anything else about? Age two years. Okay. Uh, Non-shield filter. Filtered. Are they, are they both non-chill filtered nope. or is it just the... No, nope. I think just the Harvest Blend is non-chill non okay. filtered. It's very good. 80, 80, 40. So, as I guess as we're talking through this, we can talk about 
uh, Joel Kath being the owner. Right. CEO owner. Mm -hmm. Jay Kath, which is his brother, is the distillery manager. Okay. Lexi Aho is the sales director, who oh. is the girl that we were going to talk to that was down in South Florida at the time. Remember? Oh, really? Talking about it? Yeah. Oh, really? No yeah. kidding. She's all That's... tattooed up. Yeah. She looks no, like a I, badass. Yeah, I've seen her. She looks like she knows what the hell she's doing. <laughs> Jared Kath. Um, Jared Kath? Yep. It's family owned and operated, buddy. That's awesome. He's the barrel manager, and Andrea Anderson is a mixologist. Okay. All right. So, it's family owned and operated, and um, they're doing a hell of a job. All right. All right, so a little bit of melt. Mm, I, I don't really smell. It's everything I smelled earlier, just lighter. Like nothing changed dramatically. No. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get a little more, a little bit more flavor out of this one with the ice, to me. It's still good. There's like a. There's a void in there somewhere for me, though. Like, it's missing. Kind of like a, a like a, a null spot, or yeah, a, like yeah. A, there's like a like a. I don't know. There's like a. There's like a missing spot. It's it's good, but you can tell it's that guy's younger brother. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, even you know, if you look at the colors, even the coloring is different, right? Mm -hmm. this is, you know, this is much darker. This is a much lighter, right. you know, in in color. All right, so let's finish this off and go to the uh, Glen Fargo. Okay. This this is really good. Flick. Okay. Rinse. So now we're going from bourbon to non-bourbon, right? Mm -hmm. Single malt. All right, so this is a the single malt of North Dakota. This is bottle number bottle number twelve of forty two, barreled seventeen dash one twenty one. I don't know what that means. Two thousand seventeen. Yeah, let's do it. What's the rest of it say? Oh, batch ten twenty eight seventeen. Yeah, so barrel numbers. Yeah, it's, this is made in two thousand seventeen. It's two thousand twenty, folks. So same thing, like you know, so with um. You know, uh, proof mm -hmm. arson distilleries is mm -hmm. the same as or similar to like um, whiskey acres, right? It's all yeah using local. Yep, local local potatoes, local grains, uh, potatoes for their vodka, grains for their bourbons and whiskeys and things like well, that. Yeah. It's so, all locally sourced. And what are all their so? What's their whole menagerie? Like, what are what do they offer? Oh, so they have. I'm gonna read it right off his pamphlet. So proof artists artists and distilleries. They have vodka. Um, vodka, gin, and bourbon and whiskey. So their vodkas are called Two Docs. Right. They have. Um, which we already know why. Yep. Which we already know why. They have a Two Docs coffee liqueur. They have a Minions gin. <laughs> Excuse me. Which we already know why that's called Minions. Right. Because the, you know the Minions are the one that help grab their bar, the bar for them. Yep. So the Two Docs vodka. Um, two Docs. I'm, I'm assuming this Two Docs. Fire by Proof. Oh yeah, it's like the, a, that's our cinnamon whiskey. Yeah, the cinnamon whiskey. Yep, yep. And then the Two Docs Cream Liqueur. Um, they have two different brands. Oh, oh a no. coffee, two, a, a coffee, coffee liqueur and a, and a cream liqueur. And then they right. have Minions Gin, Minions Gin Barrel Reserved, an Old Tom, and a. I don't know what the heck that is. <laughs> Which one? Minions Van Scap. Oh yeah, Quivet. no, yeah. Come on, I think it's, it's Scandinavian. And that's why I read it so good, dude. So Van Scap means it's, it's Swedish for friendship. Well, there it is. It's a friendly gin. All right. So we need to nose this and like you know uh, taste this. Glen one. Fargo. Okay. So, so the single. Fargo. Okay. So first, before we do this, yeah. Tell me the difference between a single malt and a bourbon. Uh, single malt. They use only one malt. Right. One malt for their whole mash. So a bourbon uses like usually. Has to be fifty one percent corn. Right. But you can use two, three, or more, but mm -hmm. it has to be 51% corn. So a lot use barley and mm -hmm. rye. And so, but you know, so for the Glen Fargo, they only use one malt. Right. So which malt do they use? And the difference is between, as far as barreling goes, is this is a new yes. white oak barrel, yep. or American white oak barrel. This is started in a new American oak barrel and finished in a bourbon. You know that a lot of scotches use, um, used, 
American bourbon barrels. Bourbon barrels, yeah. In order to age their scotch. This one's right. Okay, so I'm not a huge fan of scotch. I'm just not. I don't like the smoky. The smoky the peaty. Peat, the peaty yep. part of it. But I'm really excited. This is so. Oh, this is wow. super good. This, this is, is good. way like like you said. If you're gonna drink these two, yeah. But this one, this one, this one, this one smells like crooked fur a little bit. No, it does not. I think so. Nope. It's got that not sweet corn no. taste smell to it. Nope. I don't think so. I think this one and this one smell similar. No, not to me. I smell something totally. different. I almost think this one is aged in this guy's barrels towards the end. Oh, that, that may be. Yep. That may be. I think that's where I'm getting my smell from. Maybe. I said, you know, for me, I don't, I don't smell the, the uh, similarity at all between the two. I do. So. All right. So in my North Dakota accent, if you live on a farm, <laughs> if grab you live on a farm that's flat, grab your bag. You grab your bag <laughs> and go fishing in your boat and go to Lake Agassiz. And don't forget to grab a gallon of milk. Milk. And you <laughs> sleep on your pillow. <laughs> so Glen Fargo. Glen Fargo. All right. Smells fantastic. It. Smells like that to me. Oh, okay. Let's try it. Oh, she bites a little different. It's very good, though. Mm. See, I was expecting more of the scotch. It's not scotchy at all. No, not scotchy. Not at all. Well, I mean, the smoky peaty aspect, I don't get so much, but it's thick, it has though. a very... It's got thick. that thick... This and this are very similar. I think? think, yeah, I do. I really do. Oh, I'm gonna take a small taste and then add ice. It's very sweet. <laughs> Every time I smell, I like dip my whole face in. Mm. It's very good, isn't it? I do. I told I like you, it. this I and this it. are for real. But I, I definitely feel like they're very, to me, very separate. Like they're very different. They're flavors. very separate, but you can tell they come from the same family. Mm. I think. I don't know. I do. Mm. I really do. I think the smell of this yeah. and the smell of that are very similar. This one's. I'm gonna add one ice cube. Yeah, I have to too, just because that's what we do. <laughs> I, I wouldn't link? like this one and this one. I wouldn't put ice in ever. Which one? I wouldn't. Even, a Glen Fargo and Crooked and Furrow. I would never put ice. I would never put it ice in there. I wouldn't even water it down. Not even a dab. Okay. Well. All right. Now, while we're waiting for this amount, what? Where are the price points? How much are we talking? I think this one's like seventy-five-ish. Okay. I don't know what this one is. I think that one's forty-five-ish. Okay. Range. So, f am I right? Yes. Yeah. So forty-five. I'm trying to remember back when I was last time in Fargo. See, I. I purposely talked to my dad before I came down here so I could get my accent going a little bit. <laughs> so I <laughs> So we went to the liquor store. Well see and plus you know Eric's one of these people that like you know when you talk to people, when you talk to someone, he takes on that accent. I really do. It's terrible. It's annoying. So <laughs> if I yeah, if I talk to my grandma or my cousin Leslie or my dad or anything, it's I came straight off the field, <laughs> oh, <no>. and we're <laughs> we're a hundred percent in North Dakota. Um, so, I think last time I went there, I bought a bottle of this and a bottle of that, and I think I paid around seventy to seventy-five for this. Okay. And forty to fifty for that. But now, see how much is that one? I how much is the Harvest I, Blend? I don't know. Ooh, okay. That so that's something know. we'll let the you know post. Put that in post to find out how much that is. Do you know? I couldn't. I, find, don't. I don't know. I don't know. I think this is this well, a special thing though. Harvest like blend? this one is a re this one's a special release, or it, it, it initially claimed to be a special release, but I think it's out there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of yeah. I enjoy the Glen Fargo. Mm -hmm. To me, it has a very different flavor than. It's very good. Crooked furrow. I, I think it's very similar, but there's there's different characteristics. Uh, this one is a little more hot than that one. Glen Fargo is a little more hot than Crooked furrow. So you know, you don't have the mash bill. I don't have the mash bill, but I, it's clearly not 51% corn or else well, it would be a bourbon. Because, yeah, right. clearly, really. clearly, because yeah. it's single malt, so it uses one single grain. Right, yep. I, 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 I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. I should be better. <laughs> he probably told, like, honestly, I have like 16 pages of notes from Joel talking with him a few times yeah and I've looked over him I got notes from it and I don't remember ever asking him <laughs> what the mash bill of anything was oh 
Really? Yeah. Fail. Yeah. Yep. My bad, dude. But that's, that's all right. No, we have bottles, so that makes up for it. Cheers. Cheers. You know, so we tasted all three. What is the rating? What would you give them rating wise? All right. So let's start with. Okay. Okay. So. You know what? Last time I went first, so you tell me your numbers for all. Okay. Three. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try my best to be very nonpartisan, being as though. <laughs> okay. I'm hey, so proud that. and happy to be from North Dakota. Right. I tell everybody that I'm from North Dakota, and they need to check it out and go there. And we have more to offer. It's not a flyover state. Where I freaking love being from North Dakota. I love to say that I'm from North Dakota. I love the people from North Dakota. Mm -hmm. I love my heritage. This is me. This is me. Right. Um, so to say that, Joel, thank you very much for sending this all out here. Yes, we appreciate that. Oh, um, I'm going to give Crooked Furrow I'm going to give Crooked Furrow and are we bar in it or not? Whatever you want to do. I'm going to give Crooked to Furrow. I never remember what I gave everything else. That's well, the problem. You do, but that's okay. Because, like, you know, I'm, you know, that's actually a good thing. Because your honest opinion. So don't. I'm going to give. What do you think? I'm going to give Crooked Furrow an 8-2. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to give Glen Fargo an 8. And I'm going to give Harvest Blend 7-5. Okay. All right. That's my honest opinion. All right. I, I love this bourbon and I love this whiskey. This one, to me, honestly, is is a is a mixer. It's it's good straight. It's good. It's good neat. It's good with rocks. But I think it's well. I think it's it has a, a a thickness to it that would make it good in old fashions and manhands and things like that. Not discounting, it's very good. Mm -hmm. But I think this is a better mixer than. I don't even want to put ice in those ones. No, I, I agree. I wouldn't you know, take both both of those doing without ice. Yeah. Harvest Blend, um, like I said, okay, so I would give Proof, Crooked Furrow, I'll give it a 7.5. I'll give the Glen Fargo, I would, you know, I would give that, um, I'll give it an 8. Oh, wow, yeah, all right. And the Harvest Blend, I would go for a 6. Okay, so we're somewhat ballpark, but very different. So, for everybody at, so what'd you give it? I gave it, I've already forgot what I gave it. <laughs> well, we won't even say that. So anyway, Chris and I have reviewed it. We've we've uh, thrown our two cents at it. Right. Um, Joel and the family at Proof Artists and Distilleries, thank you so much for sending us this. Yes. Um, honestly, I couldn't be more proud of just being a North Dakotan and being able to represent this brand. And uh, I honestly want to make this a gigantic thing in Jacksonville, Florida. Right. Um, it needs to come to Florida. It, re it's it does. Apparently in Southern Florida, or it's getting in Southern Florida. Oh, okay. So according, I, so I text Joel this morning because <laughs> I wanted to make sure I wanted to get my notes right. Hold on, let me get there. So I text him. I said, you know, other than Arizona and Min or North Dakota and Arizona, where it's at, he said North Dakota, Minnesota, Arizona, Florida, Illinois. And in 2021, we're adding South Dakota, Nebraska, Colorado, and Georgia. So, to everybody down here in Florida, Georgia, this is the shit. Like, I'm not even gonna, like, this is for real. It's very, very good. And I'll put it up against any. I'll put it up against anything. I really will. It's, okay. If, if you're gonna throw it out there, I'm gonna put it up against anything, and you're gonna very much like it. So, me being a proud North Dakota, and I'm proud to sponsor this. I'm proud to throw the name out there and I want everybody to try it yeah I would I would I would recommend it so now does this get the whiskey <laughs> hammock stand for approval yes sir. done 100% yep. 100% yep so uh, make sure you guys check us out on Facebook YouTube Instagram and check us out on uh, whiskeyandhammock.com you can get glasses um, t-shirts bandanas bandanas glass, flip, you know, flip flops, flops. Uh, eventually we're gonna come out with hats um, Thank you so much for watching. WhiskeyandHammock.com, Whiskey and Hammock on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Chris, hit us with the motto on the way out. Uh, as you say that, I'm going to pour Dan a drink. <laughs> and we love you so much. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Keep grinding. We're going to keep grinding. Keep watching. Yes. 
May the wind always throw your hammock, may your glass never go dry. Cheers. Cheers. Alright, we're done. <laughs> <laughs>